Hello everybody, welcome back to Always Gaming. We are here playing Oxenfree and last we left off we got a new radio. And we found out that Maggie Adler was keeping some secrets. So now we had to ha have to head over to uh, the other side of the map. Or are we going back to comms? I don't know. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? Is and it? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. Hey, it's called football. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad. I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just, <sighs> never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa? Or, I guess I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. It doesn't matter, Clarissa. Do what you want. No, it does matter. It does matter. I want you to feel good about the situation, you know? I... I want this to be... good. Michael, uh... He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but... He talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well... I love him, too. And to fight the skipper for it, but... He didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get, like, a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And... Hey, hey, look. First of all... Mom and Dad are... Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. 
You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex? Are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... Was it like a... I don't... I don't know what to call it. A vision? I was... It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was, my advice to uh, do the whole thing. How have... Um, you two been? Yes. What am I working with here? How much leering am I gonna have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave. Let's put it that way. No. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Yeah, should we maybe Turn look on for the her, possibly? Lima. Even if the India. boat plane works, we shouldn't Golf. leave her here. Hotel. Listen, if we have the key, Tango. which is apparently this radio, the then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like Turn we can leave that the way, Lima. then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> Alright. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right Alex? So are you gonna try the gate thing, or...? Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah. Ha Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Ad... There is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy-Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least bit curious? There's not going to be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just want to get home. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... The keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security.
That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Clarissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just- Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. So I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril, Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine, okay? Let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Clarissa, something has to be wrong with Clarissa. Man, no she owned enough books. Her. It's mostly Maybe math, she's I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. How are you doing? How are you doing? Look, Jonas, are we, like, okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. I'm not going to pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to, like, tonight has been bad enough. I'm not going to crab about that. I mean, are you, like, mad at me or something? No, no, we're... I want to be okay with you. I just... If we keep at each other's throats, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the night. Me neither. So let's just not be at each other's throats anymore. There. See? Easy. I want to find... No. I want to find the combination. Wait. Have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Maybe they needed to chart... Uh, signals through space or something? Uh, maybe. Oh, it's a... It's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. It's been disconnected. Bummer. Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better than- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Maybe I was supposed to interact with them. Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. How are you, um, how are you feeling? Like, physically? Everyone kind of looks like they have the flu. What do you care how I'm feeling? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? 
Did I do something that bad? Well, you were being a total goober. What do you want me to say? I mean, a second brownie. You know that was dumb. And what did it affect? Nothing. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just forget I said anything. Go about your business. Dang. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? But I can't turn them on. Hmm. Right, let's go back upstairs and check out what's in that padlock thing. I'm sure something freaky is going to go on once we go upstairs. Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, something's so off about Corissa. Nobody can convince me otherwise. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Oh. Alex! Oh, Alex! Come down here, please! We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. Ren, are you... are you alright? We're in a... we're in a time loop thing. Nona, can you... can you hear me? I knew Clarissa something was wrong with her. Jonas, don't... don't just sit there. We're in a time-shift loop thing. Is it the radio? Do I have to get out? You're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you, you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing, nothing to apologize for, for. Trust, trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. 
I spy with my little eye radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, radiation, seven, six, five. Once they caught the fish alive, four. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Fudge. No, no. Well, you look at that. The little ones are back. Now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With my little eye, a knot. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Uh, is it the... the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seems to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. And look, Alex, if you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, less ghosts are gonna punish not you, ask to tag out or something, cause God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, she's good at this stuff. Normally. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. 
So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the- She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the, the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. All right, guys, here's where I'm gonna leave it off. That was a lot. I, <laughs> if only you could see my face, I like almost, I silently gasped when all those ghosts came out. Those are all the ghosts that like, the 85 or 83, whatever it was, 84. Anyway, we're gonna have to wait till the next video to find out what happens. Be sure to like the video if you like it, dislike if you didn't, let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.